life, a lot of um, trouble and hassle and commotion and hurt, pain, and drama and more conflict and problems are created when we take action when we're triggered or even take a lot of action if we're very triggered. So what you what you don't want to do when you're like very intensely emotional and triggered is make try and make life decisions, make think about making big changes in your life, um, stuff like leaving a relationship, um, um, <clears throat> like taking assertive or strong action or any big decisions whatsoever. So what you, what you don't want to do is make make many decisions whatsoever when you're intentionally emotional regarding anything in your life and especially in relationships too because usually when we're very triggered sorry when we're triggered we think the other person is bad wrong man thanks a lot distracting me <coughs> that was necessary so yeah um when we're triggered we think the other person is bad wrong and we're generally pretty angry and upset with them but when we're very triggered we think the other person is like very very bad very very wrong maybe even a hundred percent wrong and they're totally to blame for everything and us being upset and the whole situation okay they're totally at fault so so what you do want to do is take a break try and relax try and calm down Go for a walk, talk to a friend, have a bath. But it's even better not to talk to a friend straight away because you really don't want to start like feeling energy into the situation before you calm down. So do anything to calm yourself down. Anything whatsoever. It could be do some gardening, go for a walk, go for a run, watch a movie um, that you find is pretty nice or whatever you find enjoyable. Um, listen to some nice music, um, go to the beach, walk by the sea or in the park and um, have a shower and um, play a game you like it just I don't know what else to say really like anything you can even like journal slash write down your feelings a little bit just and anything you want just anything that helps you basically it's up to you to decide what you feel helps you so you decompress and try and find more calm and peace instead of more stress and more of the opposite stuff so then when you start to think clearly because when you when you're triggered you're in fight or flight which is the amygdala part of the brain i think it's the amygdala or hypocampus or something um so it's in fight or flight and you're not able to think rationally when this is the case so you're not able to think clearly so it's only when you come calm again you're able to think clearly when you're out of fight or flight adrenaline mode so it's a waste of time and energy and not only a waste of time and energy to try and figure things out and to think when you're really super upset or even if you're just like generally fairly upset and fairly triggered when someone's pressed your buttons and then what we do is instead of like blaming them we start to take more accountability for ourselves and that's the difference between emotional maturity and not emotional maturity so you realize that your trigger came from within you but they were the person who pressed your button or triggered you so it is co-creation and they have partial responsibility because we aren't impervious or invulnerable to their pushing our buttons and triggering us. But we, have to, we also have to take um, responsibility and accountability for our own emotional state as much as possible, especially our, our part. So, yeah. So in, emo in relationship um, challenges or conflict between any two people, including a romantic relationship, there's two people in it. It's not just like one person is all wrong and it's not just one person is all right. We influence and affect each other by our responses, our reactions, our triggers, our energy, our emotions, everything, our behavior, our body language. So we're inter affecting each other constantly. So it's incorrect to think one person's totally to blame or all at fault. So that's the difference between being more conscious and mature emotionally and not. So yeah, that's the, uh, the truth about um, triggers. So just remember those things. It'll save, save a lot of hassle and trouble in your life and a lot of emotional pain and hurt for a lot of people including yourself and anyone you're triggered with so i have a lot of videos and triggers just check out my playlist below it's a relationships and whatever it's called conscious relationships empowered relationships and more soulmate type of relationships and i have so much information there that i've learned in the trenches for a long time 
and I just it's my intention that it really helps you and your family and loved ones and the collective consciousness of the entire earth and universe because we're all interconnected energetically and even physically too and what we do to ourselves we do to another and what we do to another we do to ourselves so, so yeah wouldn't that have a nice day and um, yeah thank you to all um, supporters of this channel spreading the message and liking and support sharing su subscribing and all this sort of stuff and welcome to all new subscribers and welcome back to all existing subscribers so yeah befriend me on facebook links down below and instagram i'd love to hear more from you thanks again and have a really beautiful day